It seems to me that what has been happening on the astral plane in the last few years uh, in the feeling world you know, for the emotional bodies of humankind is that women in particular are becoming increasingly sentient on the emotional plane in the fourth dimension. I can hear men talking uh, in the fourth dimension, but it seems when I, it just seems to me that it's possible that they're existing in that dimension like women but not as aware of that dimension because of societal expectations. Uh, and so it's been hard for them because for them, it's, many men are taught that feelings are not masculine. And, so, and that is the dimension into which we're expanding right now. So, so it's very peculiar for me hearing all of these uh, like, I can even talk to men on the astral plane, with, and they don't even know that it's happening. They're not even aware. And I can talk to women, and some women actually do know that I'm talking to them. So, and what I find is when men wake up to these emotions that they have, when maybe a woman tells them what she hears, or... Um, when they start listening and they start hearing and integrating the fourth dimension into their realms of awareness is they become just like just like the women were two years ago they become very shocked about the whole thing <laughs> and and so and so because what happens is all the repressed emotions um, all of the things that society doesn't expect of us are the things that are like jammed down and like compressed in the in the um, fourth dimension in the in the emotional world and so as the light comes in what's happening is especially these compressions are getting the old dingo <laughs> and coming to light and then and all of the deepest darkest secrets of, of, of humankind are also coming to the light so the very thing the one thing that we did wrong in our life that that it carries great social opprobrium that thing is the thing that immediately comes up and it makes a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I don't want to be in this dimension at all. <laughs> Yet this is what we're traveling through right now. This is really where Earth is right now. And so we're all going to have to notice, notice the things and let those things go that are totally dark and secret. We're going to have to let them go. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to have the faith that that society will forgive us for our for our faults just as they laud our, our great good things that we do for society they'll forgive us for all of our faults and peccadilloes as we forgive them as it says in the Lord's Prayer you know we're for, we're sincerely hoping that God will forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us so that's one place we can go for sure because God will do it. God will do it. <laughs> and we can do it because God does it. And then we can, we can have that stance. It's like a karate stance. You know, it's called horse stance. It's, it's both feet flat on the ground and the knees slightly bent. Feeling Mother Earth, feeling down into the earth, right? We can have that feeling that we are who we are. We are who we are, and it doesn't matter about societal expectations. God loves us. We forgive ourselves, and all is well. <laughs>